Um, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alex Strong. I am a part of the Trinity Branch 2.3, and today I'll be um, doing a history on the Um So, my name is Alex Strong, and I am a eighth grader in Challenger School at Ardmore Campus. Uh, some of my hobbies include swimming, arts, piano, tennis, clarinet, and uh, reading. Uh, so, I'm just going to explain how I got into the clarinet. So I got into clarinet during fifth grade, and I have been playing for three years. Um, I chose clarinet because it looks aesthetically pleasing, and it also sounded quite nice. So the, create, the clarinet was created by a guy named John Denham, um, and he basically added uh, a register key, which is this key to the shower mode, which is basically like a ancient recorder. And this um, increased the vocal range and um, yeah, the vocal range of the clarinet. And um, he allowed, um, allowed for a greater range of notes. Uh, and some improvements made to the clarinet over time were that leather um, pads to like, um, or created to like block sound better. And um, a flute key system was used on the clarinet to make it easier to play the clarinet. Um, clarinets have three tones or sounds. Um, the lowest is uh, shallow low, and then there's clarity, and then altissimo. Um, so I'll just be briefly going over the types of the clarinet. Um, so the most common type of clarinet is the B flat clarinet, which I play, and it has a visual and sound similarity to the A clarinet. And along with the E flat clarinet, A clarinet, it is part of um, a group of clarinets which we call um, the soprano clarinets. Um, this is um, uh, transposed to the key of B flat, and um, this is a transposing uh, uh, instrument, which means that um, it is not quite put to the uh, normal like orchestral tone. So since this is to pitch to B flat, it is slightly higher than and um, the range from this is uh, D3 to B flat 6. Uh, you can also play a C6 on the clarinet, but um, uh, it registers as a B flat normally. Um, this is widely used in early jazz and swing, and um, it has um, like structural similarities to the A flat, I mean A clarinet in like um, bore, which is like um, the, air, the area allowed for um, like wind to pass through inside the clarinet. Um, next is the A clarinet. Um, as I said before, this is one of the three soprano clarinets, and it shares the same um, reed, which is the wooden piece used to blow the clarinet, and the uh, uh, mouth, um, and the uh, bore, or just like the passage through inside the clarinet. Um, this sli sounds slightly warmer than the B flat clarinet, and it is often used in orchestral or chamber music. Um, next, we have a rather unusual clarinet, which is called the bass clarinet. And this is um, pitched um, like a perfect octave um, lower than the B flat clarinet. Um, it has a curved mouthpiece, which is the part where the reed is. It also has a curved bell, which is this part, um, like the part where the sound comes out. Um, it has. Um, uh, like it's been used for large scale compositions in, in wind instruments and it is both used in orchestral music and jazz. Um, next is the alto clarinet and this is um, less widely used than the previous three. Like the bass clarinet, it has a curved mouthpiece and bell. Um, e flat alto is one of the most common um, alto instruments and for um, E flat also uh, clarinet has a range from G2 to e, uh, e flat 6, and it is pitched a perfect fifth below the B flat clarinet. Um, so I'll be briefly showing you the parts of the clarinet. Um, so as you see in the graph above, um, these are the parts of the clarinet. So this is the reed, which is a usually bamboo um, part, which um, you use to blow out of. 
The clarinet is what we call a single reed instrument, which means that it only uses one reed. Um, there is some proper um, caretaking for a reed. You have to make sure it is uh, kept dry and you have to uh, wet it before um, you blow the clarinet. In addition, to properly um, get most of the sound out of the reed, you have to soak it in water for one to two minutes for seven days. So um, like the passages inside the bamboo reed are cleared up. Um, next is the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is where the reed is attached to. And the attachment is used, uh, this, this is a ligature. So it is what is used to attach the reed onto the mouthpiece. Um, the barrel is what connects the mouthpiece to the main body of the instrument. And there are many different types of barrel based on what sound you want to play. And based on the type of the clarinet, of course. Um, next is the upper joint. So the upper joint is this part from here to here. And it is where like, like the like the higher notes are played. And this is the lower joint. Um, this is where most of like, um, yeah, the lower notes are played. And in between them are like um, the bridge key. This is a bridge key. Um, it is called the bridge key for obvious reasons. It like sort of bridges over from the lower joint to the upper joint. And not included up here is the register key. This is what was added to um, like the shallow note by John Denner. Um, this is what like increases um, the tone, um, like the, the vocal range of the, uh, the sound range of the clarinet. Um, next is the bell, and the bell is basically um, what amplifies the sound of the clarinet and what comes out of. Um, you can play the clarinet without the bell, but it will sound a bit flatter. Um, there are uh, joints. Connecting, there are like wings and joints connecting the clarinet pieces. Uh, this is just to make sure no air is, uh, escapes from each piece. So the mouthpiece of the clarinet, um, it is an instrument which is a uh, clarinet is an instrument where sound is produced um, when the when the person uh, breathes into the reed. Um, this causes the the reed to vibrate, and um, this is what causes uh, causes sound to form. Um, you block the air holes, um, and then this like face uh, this creates the note that you want to play. Um, next is the clarinet barrel. There are four types of a clarinet barrel. There is the straight cylindrical one, which is used on most B flat clarinets, and it usually looks like this. So it's just straight and cylindrical. Next is the, um, the like tapered one, tapered and reverse tapered. So this is like most commonly used in A clarinets, and it's slightly like you can it's it's slightly wider at the ends, and it like um, becomes cylindrical at like the bottom half of the barrel. Next is straight and tapered, and um, this is similar to regular tapered, but um, they become cylindrical as you um, go down the barrel. Next is a rectangular barrel. Um, this was never really uh, well used because it leaked air and um, caused sound to be slightly off. Um, so the ring sections of the clarinet, these often work together and uh, to create sound. So as you can see, once a ring is pressed, you can see several of these caps, which are what um, blocks the air, um, to like close or open, and this is what causes uh, the clarinet to produce music. Um, some of these um, re, um, some of these rings work together. For example, if you press this one, it also closes. Uh, it closes two caps, so um, you don't have to press multiple keys if you want to play one sound. You can just press one key at once. So they work together if you want to produce a sound. Um, so I'm just going to show you how they would basically play the clarinet. So you have to put your right hand thumb on the adjustable base here. This will hurt sometimes, but you'll, you'll eventually get used to it. Uh, you have to place your hands firmly and tightly on the clarinet. This is to make sure that um, like all the tone holes are blocked and no air escapes. If uh, some air does escape, you will hear a, a slight shrieking sound, which can be quite disturbing. 
Um, so instead of placing your fingers straight, you have to slightly curve them to fit like the shape of the cardinal. And then you place your um, you place the leaf on the lower on your lower lip, and then put your teeth on the top of the mouthpiece, and then you uh, blow out with your lungs. And then based on the tone holes you block, um, they create different sounds. Yeah, so that's basically how you play the clarinet. Um, some beginners usually just start with this and see if they create the sound. So if they create it, um, at first it might be kind of hard to create the sound with just this. But once you create sound, um, it shows that you're ready to move on to like the actual clarinet playing. Um, so this is um, like the, the different um, ways you can play notes in a clarinet. Um, there are many ways to play uh, different notes. For example, B flat can be played either this way or this way. They are kind of hard to um, like know the patterns, but most of the like flat white notes on the piano can be played relatively easy um, on easily on the clarinet. For example, um, they just go in ascending order. So, I believe this is um, E, and then this is uh, F, and then G. So you can see that there is a relatively easy pattern to learn when you're playing just like the bass notes. So they usually just go up in straight order. So like, so it's just relatively easy because you're just lifting the fingers up by one. Um, but other ones can, uh, like, especially once you get to the higher or lower notes, or like the flats or sharps of the note, uh, it could be harder to, um, you know, know what to play. Uh, so some play famous clarinet players were Benny Goodman, Artie Shaw, Woody Herman, Harold Wright, Sidney Mayer, and Martin Frost. Um, so I'll be featuring some of these clarinet pieces. Um, one is by um, Benny Goodman, one is by Sidney Mayer, and one is by Mon Monty Frost. Uh, you can just play like a couple seconds of each. So I chose these songs because they each represent like different genres in which clarinets can be played. So this one was in like jazz, and the next one I believe is classical. And the next one is also classical, but it also incorporates strings. So next I'll be performing a song that I play the clarinet on. So it is a lazy song by Bruno Mars. Um, sometimes in life you need to be, uh, you need a moment to relax and be lazy. And this is basically what this song represents to me. <laughs> uh, give me a minute, I'm just setting up the song. I just like to make it clear, I love this song. <laughs> 
I so love this I do. song. www.trainingband.org Thank you. <laughs>